It began with the sound of rain, then silence, and then earth that crumbled in Vyanad, over 250 lives gone, homes, families, futures buried in mud. Yes, it rained 572 mm in 48 hours, but the roots of this disaster run deeper. Deforestation, unregulated plantations, shallow rooted tea and coffee crops, all in a fragile ecosystem like the Western Ghats. The Western Ghats weren't just beautiful. They were vulnerable. Steep slopes, weathered soil and human greed made them landslide prone. Reports like the Madhav Gadgil and Kasturi Rangan committees warned us in 2011 and 2013 but we ignored them villages like chural mala and mundakkai were wiped off the map families lost everything bridges collapsed roads vanished thousands were displaced and over a minimum of 200 crore in damages were recorded rescue came fast thanks to locals ndrf armed forces but early warnings patchy and aid delayed only after months did the center declare it a disaster of severe nature unlocking larger aid this is not just a disaster it's a full-fledged case study for governance disaster management and sustainability think why were early warnings ignored why weren't uh, landslide prone zones demarcated what is the cost of development without planning use this case in answers to show the need for ecological sensitivity importance of afforestation role of reports like katkil and kasturi rangan relevance of ndma ndrf strf and the national landslide risk management strategy ethics of disaster governance for future administrators this is a reminder nature whispers before it screams and in vyanad it screamed will we listen before the next landslide